Hello. Now we got to tell uh, the user what happens once we push that button. So when we push the button, we're going to want the, to attack the monster. So um, let's have uh, the monster HP decrease by, say, 10 points each time. So um, we could say monster, that's not an M. Monster HP equals monster HP minus one. No, minus 10. And then uh, we want um, it to report what happened. So we can say uh, monster text equal or dot value equal, uh, so we're, this is just going to replace the text. Um, and then we'd say, we'll, we'll put this whole thing here. Copy it. And put it up here. Now, one thing about monster HP is this is a variable that's been defined outside of it. So if we want to use it in here, we're going to have to uh, refer to the global variable. So global monster HP, and now it's re referencing taking this one, and then we can use it throughout. Now, um, let's run this program. And if we do this, notice that the monster just goes down to zero, and it keeps going down. So it, our program's not perfect, but it's doing something that we would like. Now, typically in a game like this, once uh, you attack, the monster has a chance to attack as well. So we can do uh, something similar. So once we attack, maybe the, the monster can come back and attack us. And um, so let's have the player uh, HP equal the player HP reduced by, let's say, 20. And um, now we'll do player text dot value is equal to um, the same thing that it is here. I'll just copy and paste it so I'm not changing anything. And now in order to access player HP, we have to say that we're dealing with the global. And now we can access that. Now, as we run the game, apparently I have uh, one too many. There we go. And now you can see each time I attack, um, both of our hit points are reducing. Now, that's uh, looking pretty good. Uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's stop right there and uh, wait for our next video.